<laughs> Holy cow. I'm trying to figure out what to say, okay? We just had that, the like the 25 year direct, I don't even have a script. It literally just ended like 15 minutes ago. I'm blown away. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon is back. They're so back. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, let's talk. Let's talk about the uh, the Pokemon Direct, is what I'm going to call it. So, they opened up with this like, let's take you back to the beginning, and it it, it goes through all the games and every I mean everything they've ever done, everything they've ever done. And then it leads into Ishihara, and he's like, blah 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 blah. I'm gonna have this guy talk about the games, and they just jump straight into the Diamond and Pearl remakes. I mean, like, dude, it looks so. I have no words. It looks so good. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It looks so good. And we're all just like, and we've all wanted the Pokemon Diamond games, right? It's all, it's, it's all we've really wanted, especially after Sword and Shield flopped. I mean, dude, it looks so good. It, it's a chibi style game. It's very like, like, I mean, like, so there's like tiny characters. It's a faithful remake, meaning it's going to be accurate to the, like the originals. It's my Personally, my favorite region, my favorite generation. I have no word. I'm just so excited for that. And so we're watching this. We're like, that's cool. And then we're like, we have another game for you. And we're like, wow. Look, okay, like maybe a phone game. These homies are dropping an open world action RPG for Pokemon. Fuck, dude. I have no words. I'm trying to think of something to say that's not just, wow, looks really cool. It's innovative. It's new. It's what we really want as, as Pokemon fans. This is what we've wanted. Like, without a shadow of a doubt, it's what we wanted. It's very exciting to see Pokemon come back like this, you know, after Sword and Shield and a couple of mediocre releases and a lot of like, they kind of started going into mobile game territory pretty heavily. I also totally forgot they brought in Pokemon Snap, which looks great, but we all forgot about it after Diamond and Pearl and, you know, Legends. It's such a great time to be a huge Pokemon fan. Pokemon's back, dude. These these two games, the Diamond Pro remakes and now Legends coming out, Diamond and Pro at the end of the year, Legends 2022. It's so exciting. It, not, not so much the remakes because we've all played those pretty much already, but the Diamond and Pearl game, or the, the Legends, that's a whole new thing and it looks good. It's like what Starting Shield should have been. I just think Pokemon's going, you know, is starting to to pick up the pieces of the mess of Sword and Shield. I think they've just kind of forgot it. Sword and Shield, which is good because Sword and Shield was a bummer game, honestly. To say I'm very excited is uh, it's a pretty big understatement. I'm, I'm, I'm like in a constant state of anxiety because I'm so excited for these games. I've been waiting for them. And like, of course we all want them now, but having to wait, I'm just like, ah. Oh, it's a good year to be a Pokemon fan. I'm super excited. I hope you are too. Go watch the direct if you haven't. But I just wanted to share quick thoughts and a quick update on that. It's it's a hell of a time to be a Pokemon fan. Excited to be here with all you other nerds um, going forward with Pokemon. Anyways, I'm going to go into this video. I'm so stoked. All right, bye.